What's up YouTube, I'm just another guy and welcome back to the Welsh Way here with Aberwith Smith Town. Here we are, Champions League second qualifying phase. We, of course, didn't have to qualify from the first phase, which was amazing. I didn't find that out until I'd already preset my um, pre-season date, so we've had a few, we've had a few weeks back, which has benefited us massively because I think most of our players are capable of playing 90 minutes, which is good, which means Linfield really shouldn't have any advantage on us because they also start their season the same time as us, so, you know, that's that's fine. I don't think there's going to be fitness advantage or disadvantage for both teams. Maybe they come back a bit later from their preseason, actually. We'll have a look. Uh, we may have a slight advantage, actually, because our conditioning is a lot better than their team. But, Linfield are a semi-pro team from the Northern Irish Division, the Dansk Bank Premier Division. And, basically, <laughs> I feel we've got a very, very good chance of beating them. So, this is what my, I think, Chief Scout, I don't know who did this report, actually... Um, but whoever did this report, this is what they reckon their team is based upon the mine. So comparing their team to my team. So their keeper is very, very good. They've got a couple of good, very good centre backs. But apart from that, you know, their right back is alright. Their left back is alright. Uh, you know, overall, I think they've got a decent team. But, you know, I, I still say if we look at this squad here, because a lot of them players were repeated on the squad depth, uh, we should be able to beat them. And because of that, if I go to submit my team, uh, if I continue forward, we are going out there in a 4-4-2 formation. So, you know, we're going to make a bold move. We're going to make the first bold move and go out there and play an attacking formation that we often do play. So let's go through this team here. So White House is in goal, of course. McGinnis right back, Drake. Youngster Drake coming in at centre back. Here's a very good report on him. And because of that, I've decided I want to kind of give this guy a go, which means Hamilton Davis has dropped to the bench. Actually, no, wait. Hugh Griffiths should be starting. That's a mistake there. Uh, so there we go. Hugh Griffiths should be starting. But Hamilton Davis has been dropped to the bench because of that. And it basically means we've got two bench players that theoretically could be playing in any team. Uh, I really want to play John Stewart. I really do. He's a great player, but I just don't know where I can fit him in because we've got two very young centre-backs and players that I feel have the potential to be very, very gifted players for this division. So I don't know where I can fit these two guys in because Hamilton Davis and John Stewart are very good centre-backs. But for today, we're going with these two youngsters. Fraser at left-back, beast of a left-back and stereotypical left-back for us. So, you know, nothing new there. Davis is our right mid. Gavin Davis, he's coming in because of Luke's edge, terrible injury, which you already know about, which is out for a remaining six more months. So, that's very tragic to see him out, but Gavin Davis has come in for that. Then we have Simon James, Simon James, why do I keep on saying Simon, god damn it. Simon James, who should be playing as a deep line player maker. Then we have Viv Gunter, on the left we have Stuart Carey. So, this guy's coming in, making his debut today. Very quick player, and I like that about my wingers. I don't mind if they're not exactly the most technically gifted players, but if they've got a little bit of pace, they will more than likely find themselves in a good position every now and again. More than likely get one of their crosses in, and more than likely find a goal from it. So, I'm happy with Carry coming in. And then up front, we've got Wynn James and David Hislop. Standard guys now, pretty, you know, expected from the team. Couple new signings in though. Lee Hamilton has come in. Just as an add an extra player in the defence, just to add a little bit extra to the backup. Uh, don't expect him to feature too much. Just expect him to be in and around the squad. If he moans, he will be released because he's on a non-contract basis. And Jack Christopher as well is a new guy. Well, not a new guy in, but he's a guy back into the squad again. The squad depth in the striker position wasn't exactly great. I'm surprised Jack Christopher said he was willing to rejoin. He had a couple of good years with Bala, which is why I decided to re-sign him, because he did have a good year with Port Talbot, the year we signed him as well. I don't expect him to feature too much. I mean, if he gets into double figures appearances, he's overachieved in my eyes. So, he is in, and we'll have a look at quick transfers out, I guess, while we're here. A lot of loan signings, but a couple of the key ones. Uh, you already know about Stuart Watts, I believe, but I'll go over it just in case. 2.2k, he was going to leave on a free transfer anyway at the end of the season, so I'm surprised Bala came in with a 2.2k offer. So he definitely made a good profit there. Uh, he just found himself fading out of the team and better youngsters were coming through, so that was why he left. Elsewhere, Chris Venables has left, and I'll expect him to retire soon. He retired from professional football. I expect him to retire from playing football altogether. Adam Davis left. He wanted to leave for a long time, and he finally his contract expired. And Lee and Z, the player we signed uh, all the way back, you know, I, he just never played for us, moaned a lot. So, 
He ended up going out on loan for two consecutive seasons with Baller, and he's now been picked up by Port Talbot. Apart from that, like I say, all loan youngsters being loaned out. One major loan, though, is Ibrahim Farah. You know, he he disobeyed me. He spoke against me. He basically disrespected my quality as a manager, and I wanted him to, to get out of the club. And uh, I, I turned down a few offers because Ford Kirk said they'd give him first-team football, and I thought, well, he might as well play first-team football. Hopefully his value will go up, and we'll try and sell him on if we can. Basically, he moaned at me for rejecting players that said we'll play him as cover, and I thought, well, a dick, and he started bringing up the old conversation, so you know, I just thought, you know, I need to get out of this conversation, I just said, you know, we'll speak about this later, whatever. I basically just shut him up, I said, fuck off, basically, I don't like you, and you don't like me, let's just end it as that. So he's gone out to full Kirk on loan, but that's the only guy, really, that is of any major importance in the team. So let's get back to our squad, and I've already named the starting lineup, the bench, yeah, a couple of names, I don't know, would you know? Kevin Bland is a new youngster right back. He's on the bench. But apart from that, you know every other bench guy there. You can read it for yourself. And then let's go into this game. Two numbers are going to be handed out. Uh, you can pick up number 18 and you can pick up number 7. That's a hell of a number to be given number 7. But you know what? I think he could be a big player in the future, so I'm giving him that. So they're going out there with a 4-4-2 as well. We're going to be evenly matched on the formation side. I don't really know any of these Linfield players, just because I don't really... I follow the Northern Irish League a little bit. I know they're currently top of the table in real life, but apart from that, yeah, I'm, I don't know many of the players' names. I know a few of the real-life Linfield players, you know, like, um, I think Billy Jones or Billy Burns, something like that, is in the defence. Um, they have a guy called Curry, don't they, Curry? Something like that. You know, I've, I've managed them before in the game. I know a few of their players, but... Apart from that, out of these guys, I have no actually none of them, and a few of them are regen, so I expect that. So here we are. Hopefully we can progress for the first time ever. I didn't actually see the draw, and I'm disappointed about that. Because I didn't see who we were going to possibly get. But all I know is Linfield were a team that I was, ha I would be happy, happy to get. So, you know, because they're a semi-professional team, I thought we had the best chance of beating them. So overall, that was a good draw for us. I don't know what team thought to do. I'd say it's assertively, I guess. Um, Good luck out there tonight. I'm not going to say you're going to need it, because I don't really think we are going to need it. I think we have the ability to play quite well. And here we go. couple seconds in. Are we on key highlights? We are. So for this to be a highlight already, there must be something good going on. Only a minute in, and we've got another highlight. And it's Linfield with the ball. Quinn up front to Michael. I think that was to Ward. Out wide. Which this one in? Headed away by Drake. Well done by the youngster. O'Connor with a long shot. White House is evenly matched there. Look at our well, way following. Wow. That is great to see. Of course, Northern Ireland isn't exactly far from Wales, so I expected a following. But very nice to see our stadium is well fired out. As David Hislop with a chance just over the bar. It's good to see that we've got the ball up quickly and we've got our shot away quickly. We're going to play that counter-attacking football as we always do. And hopefully we come to our advantage today. Not exactly doing too well on the possession, doing on too well on the ball side of things, but we do play counter, so I don't mind the lack of possession, and I feel we can still nick a goal here, as long as we defend well enough, this is Linfield down the right, Murphy whips this one in, a good clearance away, oh no, his ward whips this one in, oh. Oh. hold on, it's offside, that's good, that is good to see, Oh, <laughs> could have been a lot worse there, Alright guys, sorry about that interruption, we are back. Strangely, we've got our centre-back taking a set-piece, but oh my god, we almost set up Griffiths there. And wait, the ball's still in the box, I oh, know, a set-piece. You know, a free kick, that's not good. But we had a chance there, a very good chance, and it was a shame Griffiths couldn't get that goal, that ball, on target, because he was in a great position. And yeah, I don't know why my centre-back was taking him, he's got very good corner set-pieces. While I was interrupted there, I changed the set-pieces, so we shouldn't see our centre-back stepping up anymore. He needs to be in that box, winning them headers, not taking the corner. But only at half time, that is fine, that is okay. I kind of feel we need an away goal though. Some say there's calmly to them. I'm far from pleased with what I saw out there. Go out there. Drake's a bit stressed. I'm going to say there's calmly to him. There's no pressure. Uh, didn't, didn't change it, but apart from that, it was a good team talk, apart from Drake. So I may need to keep an eye on him. May have to bring Hamilton Davis on if I feel he's not coping to the pressure. But I think I've got the team pumped up. Hopefully the team talk works wonders and hopefully we can get a goal. But it's an hour gone and nothing's really changed. We're going to make a sub, though. We're going to bring on Eddie Hislop. 
I'm not going to take Gunter off and bring on Burrell because I don't want to see a red card in the game. That's what. That's the, you know, the last thing we need to go down to 10 men. I'm not actually a highlight yet. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. I don't really know what to do. I think we'll bring Stephen Price on. He's a bit more experienced on the right, and we'll see if that can make any sort of influence to the team. But no highlight in the second half. Yeah, the game in the first half was pretty open-ended. We've had one shot on target, which we haven't seen. We've got a lot more of the ball now. But I think this game is going to end nil-nil. All right, sorry about the interruption yet again. Exactly on the 90th minute, I paused it, though. And I, again, this is surely going to be just their last game highlight. Which is as standard. Maybe oh, we could have a chance now if we've been tackled. And I expect the full-time whistle to be blown. And there it is. Nil-nil at Windsor Park. That is a decent result. I think it's going to have been better. Yes. Um, this is a third lead to them. Well done, lads. You proved you a lot of people wrong by, you know, not defeat, losing. That is good team talk. That will hopefully boost them on into the second leg. But yeah, we've done all right. At least we've not conceded. But the fact that we didn't get an away goal is risky business, which means if they score, of course, we're going to be in a tricky situation. And we've been in a situation before where we didn't score away from home, and then in our home leg, of course, the away, away, from home, the away goal has ended up coming back to curse us. So, hmm. I'll see you guys back in a second there for the second leg. All right, guys, so we are back at the Scarlets for the second leg. 1,057 tickets are expected to be sold. That's not as high as our last game which I don't actually I don't, don't think I checked but in the last match 11,000 people were there this game only a thousand so that's not good in terms of capacity but you know, I don't really mind that because the main problem here the, the main obstacle that we're going to try and overcome here is to progress through uh, the team we've been drawn with in the third qualifying round whoever wins this tie is the winner of this tie here Olympiakos or Dahlia uh, I expect Olympiakos to win that they're already 3-0 up on aggregate so yeah, that'd be a, if we could progress through, that'd be a hell of an occasion to face Olympiacos, the winners of the Super League, the dominators of the Super League. But we have one obstacle to overcome first before we get another one. So Viv Gunter, when did Viv Gunter get injured? I don't remember that. Must have been quite recent. Ah, his bruised rib. I should have injected him up. Did I get a message about that? See, I don't think I did. See, I got a barrel. Oh, Viv Gunter is there. And I, I couldn't do anything. I would have given him injections. Because now we've got to pay Colin James. And that means on the bench. I don't really know who's actually going to play on the bench. We're going to put Davis on the bench. I'm going to have to look for the rest of the squad for a centre mid. Because I don't really know my centre mids too well at the rest of the squad. Hmm. I'm going to play Michael Lamb. I played him a bit last year. I'd rather that. I know Tony Hartnell has experience in the, you know, at the club and experience at the Premier Division level. But Lamb has just got that better report and he's probably got that better ability as well. Yeah, he's, you know, his mental stats are a lot better than Hartnell. So, there we go. The team is the same, of course, apart from the one change you just saw me make. Lamb will get number 24. And I wonder what formation they'll come out with. So, they're going out with a 4 4 2 again. Uh, I don't recognize any changes, but then again, I didn't really pay too much attention to their squad because all that matters is our team. The one change you've seen, Colin James comes in. We're playing our three Jameses again like we did in the cup final. And hopefully we can win. So he's the the guy who predicts this, whoever that is, I said this will go to a penalty shootout. I'm going to see what the assistant does. No, that, that's fine. But yeah, you know, the guy who predicts this reckons it's going to go to a shootout. He reckons it's going to be a draw. I want to hopefully overcome that and I want to win. The home advantage is with us and we want to progress through and want to try and get the opportunity to get into the Europa League playoffs. Which I expect us to lose basically in the next leg is what I'm saying and I want us to get through to the Europa League. So we've got a lot of the ball so far and we're actually dominating possession in the first 20 minutes so this is a great thing to see. And we've had the first shot on target in the game as well but still no highlight. Here's the first highlight. Drake taking the set piece and Griffiths with the header. I just sort out my set pieces again because Drake is taking them and he's a centre back as Colin James unluckily there. I just saw my set pieces because I forgot to do this before the game yet again. Corners will be taken by Davis when he comes on. I can't put him on this, so I guess it'll be taken by James. And then, worst comes to worst, the other James. <laughs> and then, David Hislop. Oh, David Hislop should be last. And you should be there. And David Hislop there. Free kicks will be taken by James. And the other James. And then pens. 
that's fine. David Hislop takes our penalties. Big, I just want to sort that out quickly because I don't really want my centre back taking a set piece all the way up the up in the corner when he should be in the box, you know, trying to header the ball in, not exactly whipping it in. <laughs> I should have done that before the match, and I really should sort out my set piece takers. But here is a highlight, and oh no, it's not a highlight. We haven't really seen a highlight yet. That's kind of frustrating. McGinnis mean, has picked up a knock. That's not good. See if he can hold out though for the rest of the match because I don't want to play the other young right back yet, or I don't want to bring him on yet. But here is a long shot from Burns. He's hit the crossbar and it's cleared away brilliantly by Drake. And uh, now maybe we could get a chance here. And the defenders really slowed down. Just, James almost really James almost caught up to that. That was a great chance from Limfield, and pretty fortunate that Drake was there for the clearance. I'm going to ask my sister to do this again. Hmm, yeah. That is a fantastic team talk. Wow, the assistant has really done his job there. I don't know whether to take him off. I think I better take McGuinness off. He's injured. He's got a knock. He's just going to get tired and tired. Kevin Bland is going to make his debut today in what hell of an appearance. And that may be risky. That may be a dangerous move bringing a youngster on. But I feel the fitness is a, an advantage and the fact he's not injured. Fraser with a good tackle and maybe we could get a chance. Straight away here is James. One on with the keeper. Win James. Win James with a goal. One nil to us. Brilliant, fantastic way to take the lead. I don't want to go. I would have gone, you know, to the, the defensive formation that we play, but I'm going to stay like this. We're playing all right. We're doing well. We've dominating possession. Great goal by Win James though. Gives us the lead and puts us in the one foot in the next round pretty much. There's a set piece for Linfield though and it's cleared away fantastically by Fraser. And he finds David Hislop and Win James again pretty much one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Got one by left to beat. He beats him and it goes in. Drummond with an absolute horrible mistake. He kind of caught it and then threw it to the floor and it bubbled in his own net. 2-0 to us. <laughs> we are doing amazingly well here and Win James has done fantastically one-on-one -on -one with the keeper on two separate occasions. He, he did well to hold up the ball and fool the defender into flying in. And I don't know what happened with Drummond there but he sort of just pushed it in his own net. This is a great game so far. And we're going to see if we can add a few more as we try finding James. Oh, no. Carrier has been tackled. And I don't know what the defender's done there. I don't know what Drake, I think that was, has done. But great save by Whitehouse to prevent that shot. And good clearance away by Simon James. Let me go through ch changes. Colin James for Michael Lamb. I'm going to take Carrier off and bring on Ryden Davis. Because I know what Davis can do, I want him to come on and do what he does all the time, which is create a goal, trouble the wingers. I mean, the fullbacks and the wingers, really, as well. The time is a ticking. There is one minute of normal time remaining. Two, one. We are shortly qualified through for the first ever time in our history to the third qualifying phase, the third qualifying round, whatever you want to call it, your own personal preference. And there we go, 2-0 at the Scarlets. We've done amazingly to beat Linfield. We play 4-4-2. We played our own game and we beat them. I'm proud of your performance out there. No one gave us a chance. Well done, lads. Great performance there. Puts us through against Lipiakos. We'll continue forward, though. We'll have a little look just to confirm that. So there you go, Abelwis with Get Olympiacos SF Parius. I think I said that wrong, just Olympiacos, what I know them by. And Champions League third qualifying phrase. Olympiacos have been drawn at home for the tie in the first leg, so we're playing at their stadium on Wednesday, the 31st of July 2019. But of course, the main thing for me is if we go into the rules, 345, 354, sorry, my bad, saying that wrong. 354k is awarded to the winner, I mean to the loser, sorry. Uh, if we compare that to the second round, that is, well, is that, that is 118k more because every round you get an additional 118k. And not only that, though, the losers are going to the Europa League first round. And plus, we'll get additional money for being knocked out as champions. We'll be rolling in the money, hopefully, after this. So 2-0 there. Win James with an impressive performance. 18 years of age. He's, he's done very well since introducing him to the first team side. I expect big things from him this year. First team doesn't really matter the press conference. And we don't really care about that. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> the keeper is being looked at by the Northern Irish manager and he makes that mistake, which, cost, which gave away the second goal. But wow, I need to make sure we've not got any friendly. We can't be playing that friendly in between. I'm sorry, Newport County. I'm going to have to cancel that. The next time I'll see you back will be Wednesday, the 31st of July. So until then, guys, peace out.